All right, so this video is about how to factor with binomials and trinomials. Uh, we talked about a few factoring techniques so far this year. And again, for trig pre-calculus students, there's a whole bunch of things you learn. So this is more or less review. Uh, I'll take a little bit of time to go over some. But uh, again, if you're looking for a little bit more uh, slower paced review on how to do these things, uh, check out some of my other videos on my account. But uh, let's go ahead and start with, uh, so number 73 through 76 here. These are all different binomials. How do I know they're binomials? Two terms. Uh, so if I were to solve, for example, number 75, okay? So number 75 is going to be a little bit trickier because uh, if you take a look here, so 2 minus 8x squared. So it's a binomial, and it's a difference problem because it's a subtraction, so a difference, and two squares. So you might not recognize it, but uh, 8 is not a perfect square, meaning the square root of 8 is not a nice whole number, neither is 2. But I can still do the difference of two squares, but it's just going to look ugly. So for example, the procedure of how we do it doesn't change. All right, so I'll write down number 75 here. So 2 minus 8x squared. Because if you do something like number 74, the way I would teach you would be, here, let's go ahead and write it here. Here's the procedure, difference of two squares. So you would square the first term, and it goes in each set of parentheses. So the square root of x squared is x, and the square root of 9 is 3. And again, I need negative 9, so I need a positive and a negative 3 there. So that's how you do difference of squares, which most students would know how to do. But if you take a look at this one, it may not be as good looking as the others, but you can still do the difference of two squares. Okay? So if I do this, so remember, the square root of 9 was 3, but what's the square root of 2? It's going to be a decimal. But we can actually write square root 2 in the parentheses, right? So rather than writing the decimal of what the square root of 2 is, just leave it square root of 2. And the same thing with 8, the square root of 8. All right? So you could technically write square root of 8x, because the square root of x squared is x. Okay? So square root of 8x. Okay? So, but be careful. Note, I would actually, in fact, now that I see the scenario, I wouldn't put x behind the radical. I would put it in front of the radical, so x radical 8. All right, and so we do one positive, one negative. So again, this answer isn't as good looking, but that's how you would do it. The last thing I would actually do, you can simplify the square root of 8 because we're doing using the factor tree 2 and 4, 2 and 2. I have a pair of 2s. So that means a 2 can come out of it. So I would actually write my answer like this. So 2x radical 2. And then, uh, obviously, that radical in the other parentheses would be the same thing, 2x radical 2. So I kind of rest through how to simplify radicals. Again, that's something that you should have learned in your previous classes. Uh, make sure you check out my other videos if you want to know how to do that. So that's how you do number 75. So that's kind of a weird, wonky kind of one. So it may not be, so 2 and 8 aren't perfect squares, but you can still use the difference of two squares technique with yeah, you can just keep them in ra inside radicals, essentially. So I'm trying to look here on the worksheet if there's another example I can show you. Um, I don't see one here. Oh, number 76. Let's give that one a try. So number 76. Whoops, go back. Okay, so number 76. Well, I guess I'll just do it on the space I have. Okay, so it would be 3 minus 27x cubed, okay? So, if you wanted to factor this with the difference of two squares, if you will, uh, well, first of all, I would actually factor out a 3 to start. So it would be 1 minus 9x cubed, okay? So the way that I would do this by factoring, if I had to factor something, you could take the square root of 1, which is 1. That actually works out nice. Square root here, which square root of 9 is 3, but with uh, exponents that are odd numbers, those aren't perfect squares. So exponents with odd numbers, meaning x to the third, is not a perfect square. So I would actually leave it square root of x cubed. I'd actually put that in the parentheses there, so square root x cubed. Okay, and again, one of them needs to be positive, one of them needs to be negative. So you can still use the technique even if... 
it doesn't look as clean and as nice. If you have to factor something, like so the, the instructions are to factor, they aren't explicitly on here, but if you had to factor something, you would do that. Otherwise, you would use a different technique, um, which uh, we will be learning a little later. But that's how you use the difference of two squares when the necessarily the two terms of the binomial aren't perfect squares.